pressure myself up. What is up guys, your boy Wayne Jackson and welcome to the channel. So as you see, I have my computer right here because today we're actually gonna be doing some coding. What I wanna do is show you guys what the app development process is like from start to finish. So it's not necessarily gonna teach you how to code. We are gonna be building an Android app, but the purpose of this video is not to teach you Android. As I mentioned before, I really just wanna show you guys how to take an app from the idea phase to the actual implementation phase to where you actually have something running on your device. A lot of you have been asking me like, how do I get started with side projects? So this is a good way to like show you guys what my process would look like if I had an idea or something I wanted to build for a side project and how I would take that from start to finish. So we're gonna go through the planning phase and then the coding phase as well. So with that being said, let's get into it. So stage one of our app development process is the planning stage. And in this stage, we're gonna be taking a look at what our idea is. So we're gonna come up with our idea. We're gonna take a look at our UI mockups. UI mockups are essentially flat images that show you how your application is going to be looking to the end user. So after we do that, we're gonna take a look at how we're gonna get the data that we need for our application. A lot of apps need live data and there are services out there that you can be able to fetch this data for. You can also build that service, but in this case, we're not gonna be building that API. We're actually gonna be leveraging an existing one. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. And then we're gonna move on to our coding. So before we get started with anything, we need to come up with an idea. And me and all of my great excellence, my creative thinking, my ingenuity, if you will, came up with the idea to build a weather application. That's right. I know it's really unique. I know it's never been done before. I don't want you guys going and creating a startup and making billions of dollars off of my idea because I will come after you. Boy, if you don't get- But with that being said, we're gonna be building a very simple weather application. We're gonna show like the location, of course. Um, it'll be a static location for now. Maybe we'll decide to do a dynamic one if we have time. But the static location will basically be where I live right now, which is London. It also show you the temperature in Fahrenheit and then maybe the current weather condition as well. And then like an icon of some sort to illustrate to the user what that weather condition is. And then maybe a search bar as well. So you can actually change the location and then a refresh button so you can get the latest and greatest in the weather. So yes, fairly simple idea, something I think we can whip up really quickly and we're going to knock that out. So yes, that's our idea. So now we're going to take a look at our UI mockup. So let's go ahead and head right over to this thing right here. As you guys see, we are going with a very flat design because I am an engineer and not an artist. As you see, we're displaying the temperature right here in Fahrenheit and then the location as well. And then the current weather condition. And then also we have an icon to illustrate that weather condition to the user. We also have a refresh button, which will double as a search button. And as you see down here, we'll be able to enter a new location. And then this icon over here on this button will change to a search icon if the user is typing something right here. And then yes, it'll search for the new location and then display it right in this area. So yes, that is our app, fairly simple weather application. So what we're gonna need is an API to actually give us some weather data, which is what we'll be getting into in the next phase of things. So after taking a look at our mockups, we're gonna need some data to get us the latest and greatest in that weather. So yes, after all my glorious research, as you can see on the screen, I pulled up the open weather map API. They actually have a free tier, so that'll work great for the purposes of this demo. I also want to note that this code will be on GitHub for you guys to modify and play around with. Link will be in the description. But yes, so Open Weather Map API. We have a very simple app. We don't need an hourly forecast. We don't really need a 16 day forecast or anything like that. But what we do need is the current weather data. So let's take a look at the API doc for that. So yes, current weather data, access current weather data for any location on earth, including over 200,000 cities. So it sounds like we'll be all right, guys, as far as this goes. And it looks like you can search by city name. So that'll be useful for us because we do have a search field in our UI mockups. So let's take a look at what the example is. So it looks like you just append it to the URL, really simple stuff. And then you just put the city name there. We're gonna do city name. We're not gonna do city ID or anything like that or geographic coordinates. It's also good to know that you, if you do wanna do like a dynamic location and use the sensors on the actual device, um, this will be good to use, right? So you'll be able to get the geographic coordinates in lat longitude and latitude and then pass those in. So yes, just something to note when you're looking at an API, what the capabilities of that API are, and then, you know, noting that so to so determine what your solution is gonna be for the end user. So let's take a look at the, an example response here. Okay, so it looks like it returns JSON. Uh, yes, fairly simple. 
So we're gonna need some type of JSON parsing logic as well. So yes, that's our API. Moving on to the next phase, we're actually gonna get into our coding aspect of things. So that concludes part one of our app development process, the planning stage. We took a look at our UI mockups. We came up with our idea for our glorious weather application. And then we also took a look at the API that we'll need in order to get our weather data for our app as well. So yes, I'm actually gonna move on to phase two in the next video of this two part series. We're gonna be doing the coding. We're gonna actually be building this out in Android so you guys can see that as well. I didn't want this video to be too long so I decided to break this up into two videos. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, go ahead and comment down below. Go ahead and interact. You know, you guys can conjugate and conversate down there in the comment box. Don't be shy. Also, be sure to follow me on IG. Click that link down in the description and shoot me a message if you have anything you want me to cover in another video. But I'll see you guys over in part two. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see y'all in part two. We're gonna actually be doing some coding. So yes, I will see y'all over there. Peace.